So in Maya, we have a shelf here that has tabs that are pre-populated uh, by cert with certain uh, Maya commands, and we're going to create a custom shell. Also, I'm in the animation workspace, so if you go to uh, Windows, Workspaces, click on Animation, uh, also do that, so I'm in the Animation workspace. And then click on the little gear icon here. I'm going to make a new shelf. We'll call it uh, Mocap Edit. Okay, so uh, I'm going to add some custom scripts to this shelf to uh, help me in editing motion capture data. These are scripts that I've used for years and years, and they still work really well. Uh, you can find them here um, on highend3d.com. I can put a link for those in the description. Uh, and for my class, I can uh, put a link for them on Canvas. First one is Comet Rename. Uh, he's made some brilliant scripts quite some time ago, uh, but they're still brilliant. It works great for renaming elements from within Maya. There's also pose to shelf, and this will allow you to take, create a pose for a character and make a shelf button for it. Um, also really helpful. Okay, and where you would download those too would be, so you're gonna come down to your documents, Maya, in my case, 2020, and uh, you could, Put them in the scripts folder. I tend to go to the prefs scripts and that's where I put my scripts at. And you can see I've already put comment rename there and um, what's the other one? Post to shelf <clears throat> right here. Hey, so those are in my uh, scripts directory. So in order to uh, throw them up on your shelf here, the easiest thing to do would be to go down to the right-hand corner, click on this icon to bring up your script editor. Uh, or you can bring it up under Windows, General Editors, Script Editor. Okay. So I'm going to um, before I load those, there is a command that you can type in uh, called rehash. And so if you type that in, you're going to notice that it turns uh, this kind of turquoise color. And so I can just come here and run that. And essentially what that does is just if you've got new scripts that you've loaded, um, it's going to like reload everything so that it's in Maya's memory. Now, if you shut Maya down and open it back up again, you won't have to do that because it's already resident in the, in the memory. But I'm going to load the script. So open. So let's go to uh, Comet Rename. Let's open that up. Now this is a mail script. MEL stands for Maya Embedded Language. Uh, Maya also has a Python uh, implementation, but I'm just going to stick with MEL for these. Python came a little later. So typically these scripts will tell you where they came from, the author, um, and a usage. Okay. So... Um, it says to source and then uh, if you run this command, then uh, that'll open it up. So you don't have to source it, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've selected it. Now I'm going to middle mouse drag it and I'm going to place it 
on the shelf. Okay, so now what I can do, if this is up here, if I right click on this button, go to edit. So now I'm in the shelf editor and there's the commands. If I click that button, it's going to run the command. If I come over here to shelves to this tab, I can come in and uh, give it the icon a label. So I'll just call it CRNM. Comment rename and then enter. Save all shelves. So then if I click on this, it brings up comment rename. Now there, again, the reason I have this is because uh, its search and replace features uh, are powerful. And the main reason is that I can I can search for a field and then I can replace it with nothing. Um, Maya has one as well, uh, a search and replace, but it, it's not as robust. Let's go back to our script editor. I'm going to make a new mail tab. And now let's open the posed shelf script. Open. Okay, so again, we've got uh, information, install instructions. Uh, so this one's a little bit different. Um, make sure your shelf is visible. Okay, and then what we're going to do is source pose to shelf dot mel. So if we just click on that, and if we run it, that puts this icon up here on the shelf. Now, uh, that icon's a little bit old, and so uh, we're just going to go sort of update it. So I'm going to right-click on this icon, edit. There's the command. Click over here to shelves. Uh, so I can give it an icon label, um, P2S. If I hit enter, I still have a tiny icon. So uh, I could just select um, standard, and that's going to change the icon size to the standard size. Um, and I can also go in and choose different icons. So I could uh, load my own custom icons, or I could come over here to the system icons. And I could scroll through all these. So since this is a pose uh, script, I'm going to look for something that has to do with uh, characters. And I can hit the uh, up and down arrows. Uh, let's try uh, joints. Joint. Okay, how about skeleton? Nothing there. So, now that's going to work. I like that one. Uh, that's for add skin influence, but uh, it's going to work. So I'm just going to select it. And so that's my icon up there. Save all shelf. Okay, so uh, in the event that my were, my were to crash, if you didn't save your shelves, save your shelves, you would lose your work here. So I would say save your shelves often. And if we come into um, back in our press directory, um, look under shelves. And then you can see this mocap edit shelf that I just made. So if you were, uh, if you had a, a custom shelf you had made for members of your team, or if you're taking work from one computer to the other, 
this is how you can transfer shelves. Just copy and paste uh, into the shelves directly wherever you're working. Okay, so uh, another thing I'm going to use uh, that you use all the time in motion capture editing is I'm going to come here to select and I'm going to select hierarchy, right? Hierarchy. To add that to your shelf, you hold down control, shift, and left mouse click. And then that brings this command and puts it on your shelf. So this is something that I use a lot. So I like to middle mouse drag it and I just put it over there at the very end where I can find it. So uh, save all shelves again. And so that's setting up your shelf with scripts. See you in the next video.